right, so kind of trying to get to grips with the front of the house and a bit of the landscaping and the driveway. Um, we've currently got a bed against the wall of the front of the house and with a solid stone wall that was creating a real nightmare with moisture coming through the wall um, and kind of saturated all that stone. So I dug that out about 10 months ago. It used to be like a, a bed with some shrubs in it um, and hopefully that all that's dried up over the kind of the summer and I'm going to backfill it now with some gravel so I'm going to go out this evening with Eden and grab probably about 10 maybe 12 bags of kind of 20 30 mil gravel uh, and that will mean that all the water can shoot straight down through it and it won't have any moisture trapped against the wall which is kind of almost like a French drain it's the easiest way of keeping the moisture off the wall no, it needs to be a really big one. One of these ones. This one here. We do want to plant um, in that bed if we can, just a couple of climbing roses or something. So my <laughs> thought uh, is to use some of these buckets which we use for growing the potatoes, and I've got stacks of these outside. And I'm going to cut the handles off, and I'm going to cut the bottom out. These will be sunk into the bed. The surrounding area will be filled up with gravel, uh, you know, up up to the wall on the other side. And then these can be filled with some compost and because it's bottomless the roots can go down and when those um, climbers get kind of more established they can still work their roots down they're not going to just rely on 30 litres of compost. I'll also carry the gravel over the top of everything, so these will be con completely concealed, and you just have the kind of stem of the plant coming up. Three bottomless buckets ready for tomorrow's project. So the first job was to remove out any of the remaining uh, rubble and kind of soil that was left against that wall and that will give us enough space for the buckets to be placed into those holes. And I wanted to leave some gravel between the buckets and the wall, but I did want to get them quite close to the wall because these are going to be climbing roses. So here I'm just using some um, fabric membrane and the main reason for that is just to kind of keep any of the soil uh, from kind of migrating across to the wall because I'm leaving some on the driveway side of the buckets and also it will just stop any weeds coming up from around the roses themselves. So the first job was to backfill against the wall, um, Just this is just cleaned 20 mil gravel, sort of stuff you use for drainage and that'll keep all of that soil away from the wall. There is a little bit of repointing to do on this stonework. 
into some lime mortar and that's also going to help in the future. So grab some more compost and topsoil from the back of the house and brought that around to the front to fill those buckets. So remember below these buckets is also the soil and then the clay so they will be able to put their roots down uh, as deep as needed. So this, this gravel you see here is actually just for the drainage and it's not going to be the finished gravel. We're going to go for a lighter colour but that, now that's in it's just uh, most of the job is done now. So it's a case of ordering the roses and uh, waiting for them to arrive. So here's the lighter colour gravel that we went for in the end. Uh, the roses took over a month to arrive. I didn't read the small print. Uh, so I'm just using some kind of planting, um, general plant feed, and then getting those planted in. And I ended up putting quite a bit more of the, the topsoil the top and compost mix just to, um, to make sure there was enough in there to get them started in the first year or two before they get their roots really far down. So it's not going to be that hard to give these guys an annual rose feed or put some more compost in each year. We can just pull back the gravel and tuck it in under that weed fabric. And here's the second one. I did three buckets in total. The centre bucket we're going to do uh, more of a kind of a shrub or maybe a, uh, a normal shrub rose or even something entirely different but not a climber, there's a window above it. And I stuck them kind of angled near the back of the planters, as, uh, the buckets as well because uh, obviously these guys are going to go straight up the wall hopefully and although it's going to take quite a few years I wanted to make sure that they're close enough to the wall that they're going to be well supported. And that's it, all finished. And hopefully a few years from now, there'll be four or five meters up this wall.